Good evening and welcome to the LA TV Game of the Week. Tonight, we are featuring the Los Alamitas Griffins versus the Huntington Beach Oilers, direct from Veterans Stadium, located at Long Beach City College. This is CIF Southern Section Football at its very finest. Hello, everyone. I'm Denny Siegel, and joining me tonight is John Labko, and we have a rematch, actually, of the CIF Championship Football game of last year, where Los Alamitas defeated Huntington Beach uh, what was that, uh, 39 to 21. And this year, Los Alamitas coming in with an undefeated record and Huntington Beach, John, they're in trouble. They have a one and eight so far. Well, you said it, Denny. Los Alamitas has a 44 game unbeaten streak, which includes 23 victories in a row. Huntington Beach, on the other hand, what a difference a year makes. Last year, they were 13 and 0 before they lost to Los Al in the final. This year, one and eight and zero and four in the conference. Well, it looks like Huntington Beach tonight really is going to have their hand, hands full. Los Alamitas, they're on an incredible streak, and as soon as this game is over, uh, then the playoff season starts. And I guess on Sunday they're going to be getting the seedings all squared away, and uh, we'll be looking forward to the playoff season when we got some great Division One teams to look forward to. But before we do that, we got to wind up having a a game here at hand, and <laughs> Los Alamitas is going to be bringing out their arsenal. And the player of the week, on the, as far as from Orange County Register, is uh, Kevin Federick. Yeah, Kevin Federick was the player of the week. For the season, Federick has passed for 1,876 yards, 18 TDs, and only four interceptions. He is number one, he's the number one rated passer in Division One, And he's only played in six games, three less than everyone else. Yeah, uh, Kevin Federick's had a tremendous run at it, but he's got some great gifted receivers. And so far, Brad Melsby has uh, 54 receptions for 781 yards. Hartley, touchdown Tony Hartley, has 35 receptions for 639 yards. And Stan Guinness, 27 receptions for 487 yards. And those are the top three receivers. But you still have Benefield, you still Uribe. have Uribe, exactly, and you still have uh, Ryan Gregnano catching it out of the backfield. So Kevin Federick has got a tremendous arsenal uh, to be able to shoot uh, at. But now, as you can see, the players coming out into the center of the field, Los Alamitas with their four captains, and Huntington Beach looks like they have brought everybody along with them uh, for the uh, shaking of the hands and the ceremonial uh, coin toss. Huntington Beach has had their problems so far in 1994. Uh, Huntington Beach with a 1-8 and eight record. I mean, they're 0-4 in league. They've lost 27-13 uh, to 13 to Fountain Valley, 21-7 to seven to Esperanza, a close one, 7-6 to six to Marina. And then last week, they lost 34-7 to seven to Edison. So Huntington Beach has gone from riches to rags in, in one season. And Los Alamitas is just like a runaway train. They just continue to win and win. And we have to go back to, uh, what was it, 1991? 1991, yeah. Before they tasted defeat. Well, we're just moments away from the kickoff. Tonight, we'll have Louis Guzman doing the spotting, along with Barry Jaffe, who will be doing the statistics. And we'll be awaiting the, the kickoff of this Sunset League Division I Southern Section football game. The interesting thing about La Salle is that they have many of their players, or a couple of their players, excuse me, running both ways. Melsby and Hartley doing uh, in the defensive backfield. And looking at the stats, Melsby, who is really the man of, of all seasons out there, in nine games is w in the lead, uh, is one of the league leaders with five interceptions. And that's in nine games. Uh, the leader is. Uh, Sakota out of Valencia with eight. You got a slew of seven and, and one with six and then a, a ton with five. So Brad Melsby having a uh, an outstanding season, need, needless to say. Huntington Beach getting ready to kick off back deep for La Salle. Brad Melsby as well as Tony Hartley. And we're just about ready to start the game. And, and it's a onside kick. And Tom Carbajal picks up the ball around the 38-yard line and just covers the ball. So Huntington Beach trying to do a little bit of a, a razzle-dazzle and try to get the ball to start off with. Uh, 
all they did really was give good field position for the for the Griffins. First down and ten for Los Alamitas. Kevin Federick in at quarterback. Your sole back, Ryan Gregnano. And that's Stan Guinness with an end around. And Guinness eludes one tackler. And he gets over to around the 46-yard line. And he's brought down by Tyler Stapley and David Yadrick. Nice run by Stan Guinness. As he ran to the outside, he picked up five yards. Los Alamitas with their high-powered offense. Melsby split wide to the left with Benefield and Guinness. And that is Greg Nano. And Greg Nano having a big hole going inside uh, Euler territory. And it was brought down by David Yadrick. So Los Alamitas with their first possession. We're in the opening moments of this Sunset League football game. And already Los Al is on the 41 yard line of the Oilers. Federick back to pass. And Federick finding a wide open Brad Melsby as Melsby gets inside the 30 down to around the 29 yard line and he's brought down by David Yadrick. Los Al isn't wasting much time as they march down the field. Okay, the offensive line for Los Al, which has done such a remarkable job all year at center, Dan Cady. You also have Backel, Butterfield, Bagley. And that's a handoff to <laughs> Greg Nano. Greg right Nano, he's all the way down inside the five yard line. And he is. He fumbles the ball. But he recovers his own uh, fumble, and so it, the ball is spotted on the, looks like the two-yard line. So Los Alamitas, first down and goal. Los Al opting not to go into the full house offense, handing off to Greg Nano, and Greg Nano just slices straight on through for the touchdown. Los Alamitas with only 10 minutes and 53 seconds left in the first quarter, meaning uh, a minute and seven seconds uh, of, of expired time goes right on down for the first score. And that's four plays, 60 yards, and they just uh, just went right through Huntington Beach like a hot, hot knife through butter. Incredible, Denny. Ben Hughes getting ready for the extra point. And the kick is up. And it is good, so Los Alamitas starts off with a seven to nothing lead. And I guess from this stage, uh, this is not that much of a, uh, of a surprise for the simple reason that Los Alamitas being heavily favored coming into this football game. And they come right out with their very first offensive possession and going straight on through for the touchdown. It'll be interesting to see if Los Al does a kickoff or if they do an onside. If you remember in the beginning of the season, they were doing onsides. Well, that's right. They, they, they have not had much success with their special teams, and I think they're, they're trying to get that together. And, and they've been doing some squib kicks uh, as far as the, uh, the kickoff. But they're going to have to get that part of their game together, John, if they're going to be able to survive and, and, and excel in the CIF uh, playoff situation. Definitely. It is definitely a problem they need to address. Number 15, Mike Phillips getting ready to kick off. Back deep is Danny Smith and Omar Esker. Smith has the ball. Uh, Esker has the ball, and he is just, well, he's kind of gang tackled. He, they're going to give him a spot up to the 28-yard line. He's brought down by Stan Guinness. So Huntington Beach has their first possession of tonight's football game. At quarterback, number nine, Jason Bartusik. In the backfield, 
is Simon Kotler. And that's a handoff to Kotler, and Kotler, showing a lot of power, gets up to the 29-yard line, and he is brought down by Ryan Wanagasakara. So with the very first offensive play, there's a gain of six yards by Kotler, so it'll be second down and four yards to go. Bartusik hands off to Lawrence, and Lawrence is met in the backfield by Brandon Hart. So right now, the offense, uh, the, the defensive linebackers of Los Alamitos getting into the face of Huntington Beach. So that is a loss. So Huntington Beach now will be facing a third and eight. And they didn't fool anyone on that play. Los Alamitos read it from the get-go. Wide to the right. For the Oilers, David Van Moorbeek and Dennis Masuda. And that is a pass to Van Moorbeek. And again, not a whole bunch is uh, fooled there as Ryan Gregnano comes in there and dumps him for, well, for actually a loss. So that whole three uh, offensive plays wound up netting zero yards. So now it is fourth down and 10 for the Oilers. And back deep to kick is the quarterback, Jason Bartusik, and standing on his own 47-yard line is Brad Melsby. It's a good kick, pushing Melsby all the way back. He muffs the ball on the 35, having trouble picking it up, and he winds up getting all the way, well, all the way, maybe to around the 28-yard line as he's gang-tackled by the Oilers. So good coverage and a good kick by Jason Bartusik. So Los Alamitos will have their second possession with eight minutes and 24 seconds left in the first quarter. We'll, quick... see if they... we'll see if they can duplicate their success on the first drive. A quick reminder that LATV Game of the Week is being brought to you by Bar Lumber Company, Orange County Container, Russ Conkel, Union 76, Brewster Southwest Grill and Sports Bar, and we'll give you the rest of that lineup of Great sponsors as Federick is just being sacked in the backfield. Jeff Bartusik, number 40 of the Oilers, just came in on a blitz and put Kevin Federick away. Yeah, we're going to see a replay on this, Denny. Well, we, I guess, having a little technical difficulties. We can't give you that replay right at the. Here, here we are. Here we are. Here's the replay. No protection, better that. Okay, as we go back to live action, there's a little screen pass to Ryan Gregnano, and Kenny Parker of the Oilers brings him down, so that gets up to the 28-yard line, so Los Alamitas now will be faced with a third and long. So to complete our list of sponsors, we have Joe Partizzi Insurance, the, the Webb Automotive Group, and Fiorito's Italian Restaurant in Los Alamitos. Kevin Federick back to pass. Kevin Federick having plenty of time. Ball was intended for Uribe. Uribe could not bring it in, so it falls incomplete. So Los Al will be set up with a fourth down, and their punting team comes in. So the Oilers' defense wound up coming to play. The sack was uh, very instrumental there. The, they covered the screen very, very well. And then, of course, the incomplete pass now. So Los Alamitos will be turning the ball over to the Oilers. Carbajal kicks. It is a muff by David Van Moorbeek. So he does cover the ball, so it'll be first down and 10 for the Oilers' ball on the 34-yard line.
Looking at the uh, Orange County stats, number 14, Dennis Masuda of Huntington Beach has 23 receptions and 275 yards. So he's one of the leading offensive players of the Huntington Beach team as Bartusik keeps the ball. Bartusik has plenty of open running room and he gets all the way up to the 50 yard line. Good read by Jason Bartusik and he was finally brought down by Damon Houston. But there was no one open as LaSalle was covering on defense. They wound up putting the ball away and just going straight ahead for an outstanding game. We'll so we're going to see it again, Denny. Bartusik draws back. He shows some speed here. Out to the outside, and he picked up a nice 15 yards. So the ball is first down and 10 on the 49-yard line of the Oilers. And Bartusik still has the ball on, a, on an option, kind of tucks it away, and he just goes ahead for a short gain. Ryan Wanagasakera uh, brings him down, so they're going to spot the ball on the 49-yard line of the Griffiths, so there'll be a gain of two yards. Five minutes and 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Los Alamitas ahead, seven to nothing. Bartusik, the quarterback Lawrence and Lachlan are the running backs. Bartusik again on a keeper, just tucks it away and goes inside the 45 down to the 44. Brandon Hart brings him down, but it seems like the Los Alamitas defense doing some great covering, but they're leaving the quarterback unattended, and he's picking up some nice yardage. As the clock continues to run, not too far from here, there's another Division I football game that Los Al might be very interested in finding the outcome, and that is Long Beach Poly is playing at Lakewood. And that, it all depends how the seedings work, but Los Al might have an opportunity to face one of those teams. Bartusik back to pass, Wanagasakara coming in on his blind side and sacks him. So, number 45, Ryan Wanagasakara doing a, just a great job, and he puts that quarterback away so it'll now be fourth down and long for the Oilers hunting the beach getting ready to punt the ball Jason Bartusik standing on his own 36 yard line he muffed he was unable to contain the snap he muffed it in the ball uh, it was blocked Mike Mike Atamian got his hand on the ball, so Los Alamitas will take over uh, with great field position on his own, on their own 49-yard line. In fact, Mike Atamian, he blocked it with his chest. Great play by the defensive lineman. And that punt went zero yards. Stan Guinness is the man in motion as Federick is back to pass. Federick, now he gives the little Jason Bartusik look as he tucks the ball in and goes straight ahead up to the 45-yard line. And Kenny Parker brings him down. So now it'll be second down and four. Wide to the right. Tony Hartley, wide to the left, Brad Melsby. Ryan Gregnano is the sole back. And Federick looking for Hartley, kind of puts up a floater. Defending on the play is David Van Morbeek. Excuse me, uh, number five, Tyler Stapley. That kind of was a floating pass, John. It seemed like it just never would come on down and Hartley had to wait for the yeah, ball. Yeah, we're going to see a replay, Danny. But it draws back to pass. He throws it, it but it's underthrown, which enables the defender to catch up with Hartley. That ball is thrown five yards deeper. It's six points for LaSalle. So it is now third down and four as Federick 
Now, Huntington Beach read that beautifully. You got to give them credit as, as Federick was doing uh, that shovel pass to Ryan Gregnano and Chris Tizard and Jeff Bartusik. Right there, they read it, they hassled Federick, and they got Gregnano, and he's short of the first down. So it'll be fourth down, and looks like a long two. And Los Al is opting to punt the ball. Tom Carbajal standing on his own 40-yard line. And back deep, David Van Moorbeek standing on his own 11-yard line awaiting the punt. No, it's a fake. It is a fake as the ball goes right to Tony Austin, the up man, and he goes in. There is a flag, Denny, though. Okay, we'll kind of figure out what the infraction is. But Los Al just kind of throwing a whole bunch of stuff at the Oilers. And looks like it's going to go against Los Al holding against the Griffins. As you said, it was a great play. Unfortunately, though, holding on Los Al. Still fourth down, and I think they will punt on this one because they need 13 yards for the first down. Tom Carvajal makes a nice scoop of that uh, of that snap, kicks the ball off, getting a good bounce as they're allowing it to run out of bounds on the eight-yard line. Stan Guinness was the one that downs the ball. So now the Oilers, with two minutes and two seconds left in the first quarter, will take over with Los Alamitas ahead, seven to nothing. Kind of a sleepy first quarter, wouldn't you say, John? Yeah. I mean, it <laughs> coming in for for the Oilers, number 23, Brenton Wood. And that's a handoff to Kotler. Excuse me, that's a handoff to Lachlan. And Lachlan goes all the way up to around the 21, maybe they'll spot, they'll spot it around the 22-yard line. So a nice game by Jason Lachlan. That was an eight-yard gain, and this will give him more breathing room. Clock continues to run. Second down and two, a minute and 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Bartusik handing off to Lawrence. Great second effort by Lawrence. He might, I think he did pick up the first down. Actually, that was Brenton Wood who was the carrier. So Excuse me. they're going to wind up moving the chains. So it is a first down for the Oilers. And just like you said, John, trying to get themselves out of deep in their own territory. I'm going to see a replay of this, Denny. They had him stacked up, but he just kept on moving his legs, and he picked up the first down. Good second effort by, by Wood, and that is a handoff this time to James Lawrence, and Lawrence also showing some good strength as Dax Houston finally brings him down, and that is a strong gain. It all depends where they spot it. Looks like it's going to be short of the first down, so it'll be a nine-yard gain. It's second down and really a very, very short one. Well, the clock continues to run down. This just might be the last play of this first quarter as we have 10 seconds left to play in the quarter. And then timeout is called by Huntington Beach. Looked like they had themselves a little bit of confusion out there. So both teams, well, actually, Los Al now goes to the sidelines. And as you can see, now so, do, uh, so does the Huntington Beach Oilers. Right now, so far in this uh, football game, uh, Bartusik has uh, one reception for five. Is he one out of five, Barry? 
para huir. Three out of five for 25 yards. Okay, the teams are now coming out of the field. Boss Alamitas, the defense, without question, trying to hope to put together a shutout. They have to go back to their game against Milliken this year, where they beat Milliken 56 to nothing. And I know the Los Alamitas coaching staff would surely like to put up a goose egg tonight. And that is a handoff to the first man through. And looks like he is stacked up, and he is going to be denied. He is going to be short by about a half a yard. Pete Kotecki was in there putting the uh, the tackle on him. It all depends where they spot it. Right now, there's too many players around there for us to really determine and it the is actual a first spot. Down. So they, they, they gave him the, the forward progress. So Huntington Beach pulls up the, their second and inches. It's first down and 10. And that will be the end of the first quarter of football. Los Alamitas ahead, seven to nothing. Well, John, now that we've completed this first half of uh, first quarter of football any surprises um yeah i'm surprised that lasalle hasn't been able to show more offense i would expect them to have maybe two touchdowns they however they did have a good opening drive in which they were able to score their touchdown well, at this point uh huntington beach would love nothing else but to make this a, a strong showing by their football team. They were disheartened hearted last year when they went into the final. He had two undefeated teams in Huntington Beach without question with their Tony Gonzalez, who was so outstanding as tight end and is now over at Cal. They wanted Los Allen. They wound up losing that game. Uh, 39-21. Thank you, 39-21. And they would surely love to be able to repay it right now. And that is a handoff to the first man through. And he is stacked up. And he probably gets the line of scrimmage and maybe an inch or two. So it'll be second down and a long, long nine. A quick reminder that the LATV Game of the Week is being brought to you by all of our great sponsors, Bar Lumber, Orange County Container, Russ Conkle 76, Brewster's Southwest Grill and Sports Bar, and we'll give you the rest of them shortly. Bartuzic still has the ball. It looks like he's going to keep, no, nah, he winds up throwing it. It looks like it's going to be intercepted. It is intercepted by Chris Bagley. What an outstanding play as Bartusik was going to his left. He seemed so uncomfortable as he was going to his left. John, he just seemed I've never was able to get set, and he winds up throwing it right into the hands of number 67, Chris Bagley. You said it, Denny. He tried to make like Randall Cunningham, but he didn't fool anyone on that play. Great interception by Bagley, his second in two games. So the Griffins having great field position. First down and 10 on the 44-yard line of the Oilers. There's a flag all over the place, and that is a completed pass to Brad Melsby. So I would uh, suspect it's going to be against LaSalle. We'll find out what the infraction is. No, it's going to be against the Oilers. So it's too many men on the field. So Los Alamitas, even with having to go up against 12 <laughs> players, were able to come up with a, uh, a nice game. And they're going to mark it off. They're going to mark it off ag uh, against the Oilers for 15 yards. Louis uh, Guzman thinks that James Parker, number 62 of the Oilers, was the, the number 12th man out there. So Los Alamitas. First down and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. Federick still having the ball, and right there, and wasn't fooled at all, was Justin Spiegel. Good defensive play by the Houston, uh, Houston by the Huntington Beach Oilers. I'm going to probably say that a dozen times tonight, John. That's okay. You're entitled to make one mistake. Yeah, but not a dozen, right? <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half of football. Los Alamitas ahead, 7 to nothing. I'm Denny Siegel along with John Labko bringing this 
Sunset League Southern Section Division I football game to you. This is the last game of the regular season. Frederick is back to pass. Frederick looking and finding Brad Melsby. Melsby putting a couple of moves on, and Melsby is going all the way for a touchdown. Los Alamitas. Incredible. Melsby just put in another gear and just ran past all the defenders. Showed great quickness on that play. So there is Mr. Brad Melsby. He is having a tremendous career here at Los Alamitas High School. And without question, his career surely does not stop. Upon his graduation, there's going to be an awful lot of schools looking for him. Number 13, Brad Melsby. Los Al getting ready for the extra point. The kick is up. There's flags all over the place, and they're just Fly, uh, nullifying the play. And it's against Huntington Beach. So I believe what they did, John, if I'm if I'm correct here, it wasn't a matter if the kick was good or not. They they uh, killed the play based on the on the infraction. That pass from Kevin Federick to Brad Melsby, a 38-yard play. So Los Alamitas starting to line up for the extra point. We'll see if they can do it again. Ben Hughes getting ready to kick the extra point. Uribe to Carvajal, and the kick is up, and it is good. So with nine minutes and 53 seconds left in the first half of football, Los Alamitas distances themselves a little bit against the Huntington Beach Oilers with now a 14 to nothing lead. And so far, Huntington Beach now will have a chance to come on back. Let's take a look at, at that touchdown play. Here's the replay. Federick passes to Melsby. Melsby just breaks apart from the defenders and just turns on the speed. Looks like there was some, either some bad tackling or bad angles. I think it's a combination of both, Denny. So back deep for the Oilers. Number 21, Danny Smith, and number 27, Omar Escar. And I think it's really important that Huntington Beach does something on offense right here before it gets too late. They're down by 14. You don't want to give La Salle a whole bunch of points because it's no. very difficult, John, to catch up on this defense of La Salle. So I think your observation truly is right on. Escar has the ball on the four yard line and is trying to turn the corner and really doesn't get a whole bunch. There is a flag on the play. Brad Melsby is responsible for the tackle. They down the ball on the 11 yard line, but that might be a late hit, uh, Louis. Yes, I think it is, Denny. So they're going to probably march off some yardage against the Griffins. No, on the contrary. What, what, uh, yes, that, that's right. <laughs> They're marching off against the Griffins. So it is now first down and 10 for the Oilers. And the ball is on the 27-yard line. Jason Bartusik trying to get something started for this Huntington Beach football team. Kotler and Lachlan in the backfield as Bartusik is back to pass and he's he was looking for David Van Moorbeek but uh, threw it a little bit tall so it'll be second down and 10 yards to go as that stops the clock with 9 minutes and 16 seconds left in the first half of football. Yeah Danny he was heavily pressured on that play 
And he was running out to the outside, and he threw it, but it was overthrown. Los Alamitos in the USA Today went up a notch this last week. They're now 17th in the nation. And, of course, the team that leads the nation is Bishop Amat here in Southern California. And with a little bit of luck, there just might be that final. Los Alamitos, Bishop Amat. And I know there's a whole bunch of people like the Los Alamitos coaching staff would like me not to say something like that <laughs> as Bartusik winds Take up trying to keep her. And he is brought down by Dax Houston. So there's a loss on the play. So it'll be a three yard loss. So now it's third down and 13. Bartusik back to pass and he gets Wood out of the backfield, and Wood fumbles the ball, picks it up. And that might have cost him the first down. Well, they had a long ways to go for that first down, John. They had to go all the way to the 30, 37 yard line. But we're gonna take a look at that again. As you can see, who knocked the ball out of his hand, Chris Bagley comes in there and it just popped the ball out of his hands. But Wood was able to pick himself up and go back and get the ball as now fourth down and, and long. Huntington Beach kicks the ball. It's a high end over end. Brad Melsby calls for a fair catch, but inadvisedly dives yeah. for the ball. He probably would have been a lot better off just letting that thing go. But fortunate enough for him, he was able to cover it. So Los Alamitos will take over again. And they'll spot the ball on the 40 nine yard line so first down and ten for the griffins great field position for the griffins let's see if they can score federick back to pass finding brad melsby coming on in on a slant and melsby just kind of rolling over the different defenders of the huntington beach oilers and he gets all the way up close to the 45 yard line and they're going to spot it right on the 45, and it's brought down by Jeff Bartusik and Kenny Parker. And we're going to see a replay of that, Denny. As Fedek spots Melsby, hits a couple of defenders, and just keeps on rolling to pick up five yards. That's Greg Nana going straight ahead for a short gain as the offensive line moves back the defense of the Oilers just a tad, and Chris Tizard makes the tackle so it'll be third down and a long one as the clock continues to run we're under seven minutes to play at 640 we're actually at 645 los alamitas ahead 14 to nothing yes this game is rolling right along a lot of running plays Okay, the Griffins break the huddle. Greg Nano so far tonight has five carries for 55 yards, and that's Greg Nano going straight ahead again. And Greg Nano gets all the way inside the 40-yard line for a first down. And Chris Tizard brings him down. So the ball will be spotted on the 37-yard line. First down and 10 for the Griffins. That was a nice job by Greg Nana. He knew they needed two yards, and that's what he got. Federick back to pass, looking for Hartley. Just that little floating timing pattern and was a little bit long for Hartley, but Hartley had his man beat, but Federick could not connect on that, so now it'll be second down and 10. Yeah, it was a nice try, but he couldn't catch up with it. Nice crowd here tonight on this cold, brisk evening. There is a flag on the play. Might be a little bit too much time. I 
And it'll be on Huntington Beach. Yeah, they're offsides. So they're, they're marking it off against the Oilers. So now it'll be second down and five yards to go. Rain pretty much the whole day today. And